Hello friends and welcome to a lesson on the parts of a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, what does that mean? Well it's two parts there, quadra which means four and lateral which comes from the word lateralis. It means sides. These are four-sided shapes and uh, there's quite a few of them but we'll talk about those later. For now you're going to need a blank sheet of paper to draw on, and some pencils. And I have all these beautiful colors here to help me with this. You're also going to need a quadrilateral. That might be difficult, right? We need to find a four-sided object. And if you can, we might want to find a square or a rectangle. That'll make this next part really easy. But you're welcome to find a trapezoid, parallelogram, kite, rhombus, well, pretty much anything. But I here have a box that is shaped very nicely like a rectangle. And I found this box just behind me on a shelf, and it's sort of magical. Hmm. So go ahead and position your quadrilateral when you get it right on the paper. And go ahead and take a pencil. And this next step you're going to want to do very carefully. Because if this is a precious object or something that you're about to trace, you don't want to get pencil on it. Make sure to wash your hands as well, but let's go ahead and trace this object as carefully as we can. All four sides should give you a nice quadrilateral because a quadrilateral is a two-dimensional shape. It's flat, and what I have is a three-dimensional shape. And you know that's a, oh yeah, of course, a rectangular prism. Well, it has the rectangular part because look at that. There's a rectangle. How beautiful. All right, maybe before we get started, we'll even write in a very special color what this lesson's about. Hmm. I'm going to use silver because it's pretty magical. This is the parts of the quadrilateral, and that is quite a mouthful. Parts of a quadra for lateral sided. How nice. Okay, let's get started. Now there's several parts to a quadrilateral just like there's several parts to a triangle. And the part that's the most obvious might be these four things. The sides, right? And there's four of them. It's pretty fantastic. You're welcome to make a really nice pattern over those. I'm going to use this beautiful purple color to give a nice wavy pattern on mine. And ooh, I'm going to loop it around on the edge here. There I come again. Whee! You have a lot of fun while doing this. All right, and all the way up to the top, those are the sides. There's a side. There's a side. I'm going to skip that side for a second. You'll see why. And there's another side there. Um, now that side on the bottom, go ahead and grab another color and give that a nice base coat. You're wondering why I said base coat. Well, that's because that's the base. Let's label that too. That's a special side. That's the side that's going to be on the bottom. It's also going to help you find something else that we'll talk about at another point, which is this space enclosed by this rectangle. I'm going to use these orange stripes to show the area of this rectangle. Woohoo! Look at that. And maybe what I'll do is in large letters write area in the area of this rectangle. Groovy, right? Okay, so let's get another color out and let's also add a line just on the edge of the sides because that's something else that we should know about as well. Because if we were able to take a ruler and measure the length of each of these sides, we'd be able to find out something else about this rectangle here. we'd be able to find its perimeter. I'm going to write perimeter right here underneath the perimeter that I just highlighted. Now I could actually find out the perimeter of this rectangle because I just so happen to have my trusty ruler. And I can do it in metric, 18 and a half that way, 18 and a half that way. Wow, 
Hmm. 37 and 11 and 11, that's 22. Wow. What an amazing uh, perimeter there. I bet you can figure that one out. Okay, so now we have our beautiful rectangle, but we are missing one other thing, maybe even two. Hmm. Okay, go ahead and grab your straight edge again and grab another color. And you're going to make a line of some kind. Um, I'm going to actually make mine strenulated. When you see the pattern, you'll know what it means. It sort of means like the top of a castle or battlements because this is something else. This is the height. You'll notice in this rectangle that it's actually equal to the side right here. So the height of the rectangle, and that'll come in useful later as well. But there's one other thing that we can put in here. I'm going to use pink for this one. I'm going to go to each of these corners and I'm going to highlight it as well. Do you remember what these are from our parts of a triangle lesson, the corners? That's right, they're the vertices, or each one is a vertex. Um, they're also pretty beautiful, and look at my beautiful parts of a quadrilateral drawing. Hmm. I'm gonna label those, uh, you know what, I'm gonna label each one this time, because there's four of them, just like there's four sides. Think about that. Now I said quadrilaterals come in many shapes and sizes. This lesson was just about the parts. Some of the parts can be a little different quadrilateral to quadrilateral. So why don't you also check out the lesson on different quadrilaterals and see, maybe you can find some of those in your house. For now, why don't we see what kind of beautiful drawing you can make of a quadrilateral. And if you do check out that other lesson, maybe you can try this one again on one of those other ones. Have fun.